Welcome everyone to today's video and today I'm going to be talking about Premier League striker Timo Pogi. So my true opinion on Pogi is after his championship season I honestly do think he's one of the most underrated strikers in the Premier League. He scored 5 and 3 which is unbelievable. I just do think he will do good and I'm going to talk fully about that in this video before all that. My prediction of Fulham Cardiff, Cardiff made it it ended 1-1 and Cardiff looked more likely to score the goal. If it was going to go anywhere, I think Cardiff would have nicked that game. Um, Fulham got sent off, Fulham got Harry Art sent off when he was back at... Like, Fulham's Harry Art got sent off when he was back at Cardiff for stupidly, I don't know, he got his yellow and then he dived like straight after. Silly, silly, got red carded. And it was just long balls looping in the box, Flint didn't do much with him. Morrison tried, but I do think they could have done better in the box there. Warnock just managed himself. Uh, he's retiring at the end of the season, so we'll say goodbye to a, pre to a good legend of football. And um, so I'm talking about Pookie here. So I think Pookie will be the Premier League's top scorer. Now I know that sounds a bit silly, but as we're only three games in, but watching him in the Championship, 29 goals. I think he can. I think he can get twenty five. The only person who I think will be pushing at him is Sterling. But the thing is with um, Man City is they've got Mares uh, who could take Sterling's place and Sané on the left, Nguyen up front. With uh, Norwich, it's just Pookie, and that Cantwell is really, really good, bright young potential. Um, on the other stuff, we've got soon it's. Nearly 10 o'clock when I'm recording this on 31st of August, Borough play at Bristol City. And I do think it's going to be 2 over Bristol City, like I said yesterday's video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Leave a like. Um, I do, I think Pookie's one of the best strikers in the Premier League, just off his stuff is like portrait play. I'm sure, I'm sure I read a fact that Timo Pookie has scored in every... In, in every club of his first shot on target, which is some unbelievable record. Sorry about this, this one's right in the eyes, but all right, which is like mental, unheard of. It's like not even like messy stuff. But he's been to a few clubs, and Norwich is really where he's doing well. I think Ashley Barnes will be up there this season. I think he might get about 19 goals, but I think Pookie will be the Premier League's top scorer. And maybe come me, I could look like an idiot, but if it's not Pookie, it'll be Sterling. And I don't want to see anybody with Pookie and Sterling being the top scorer. But I'm going to back Pookie. I've got a tenner bet on him. 20 to, 20 to 1. So let's just hope he is. Um, on other football news, uh, I mentioned that uh, Smaller went to Roma. And there's just been a lot going on in football. Transfer window shuts on the 2nd of September, so I'm going to be doing a countdown to that for all international leagues. I'm going to put a video up when the transfer window slams shut. So until then, I'll see you next time. Been a good video, everyone, in a bit.